Hi everyone, so it's been a while since I've done one of these in-car videos and uh, I've just gone out to pick up the latest shipment of packages which arrived today. Um, we've updated our package receiving protocol in the last three or four days. So in the past we would disinfect at the main guard house and then bring the packages in and wrap them outside of Dukar, um, disinfect the contents and then discard the packaging. But now what we're doing is we are disinfecting the outside of the packages at the main guard house, unwrapping it at the main guard house, disinfecting the contents at the main guard house and then um, discarding the packaging all at the main guard house. So none of the packaging that has been exposed to the outside will ever be brought into KFR. So that's what we're doing. Um, as for myself today, what I will be working on is I will be doing mantra rolling. So I will be going to um, the arts department to pick up mantras and then bring it back to my room and then I will be doing mantra rolling in my room. Um, the mantras that are being rolled are going to be inserted into the statues and into the relic stupa um, as part of the Tsenrimitri relic stupa and chapel project. So that is what I'll be working on today. And then maybe later on give you a glimpse of what I've eaten. I don't know. You guys seem to like that. <laughs> seem to like to see what I've been eating. So um, I'll sh like 10 seconds and um, also talk about um, the reasons why I went vegan which is a relatively new development. I actually went vegan at the end of last year um, on October 31st, which also happens to be Halloween, which also happens to be Rumchi's favorite holiday of the year. So I went vegan on October 31st and it has been five, five months? Yeah, so I will talk a little bit about that later. Don't worry, I'm not gonna preach because I know the reputation that a lot of vegans have been quite militant about it. And that is actually one of the reasons why it took me so long to get started. But I will talk about that later. I'll see you guys shortly. Bye. So driving back into KFR now from the main guard house. Yes, driving, not cycling. Because as you can see, it's very, very hot. And also, not the best idea to cycle from the guard house whilst carrying packages. I haven't got the panniers yet um, and I don't plan to get on I plan on getting any panniers for my bike so um, no parcel collection does not happen with my bike but I know that a lot of you guys missed this view and haven't seen it in a while so yeah once the MCO is over come and visit so this is actually lunch day which is um, some spaghetti with pasta sauce and peas garden peas and then tempura mushroom and when it comes to tomato sauce or curry or things that might potentially drip and leave a stain, if I can, I do try and change out of my white uniform into a black shirt um, because bleach is expensive when it adds up. I'm walking over to the arts department now to pick up a stack of mantras and um, I'm going to be spending today rolling mantras in my room. So yeah, that should be fun. Um, I first started learning how to roll mantras when I was 15 or 16. Back then, um, Kachara was not even established yet. Um, we just had KSA and Kachara Paradise in Section 2, uh, in SS2. And uh, I would spend my weekends and my holidays there rolling mantras um, to be in certain statues. So <laughs> things I've changed a lot since then. Kachara's gotten bigger. I've gotten bigger. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing today. Uh, I'll film some of it for you guys to see so that you can get some idea of what it entails so that after the MCO is over, you can get involved yourself. I'll see you guys shortly. Bye. So I'm here at the arts department and I have my mantra rolling supplies and I'm going to head back to Dukar now to my room to do mantra rolling for the rest of the afternoon. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!
Hi, so um, spend the afternoon rolling mantras and then now um, just getting some writing work done and um, basically winding down for the evening and I realized that I hadn't actually filmed um, the answer to why I went vegan which is something quite a lot of you apparently want to know and um, so why did I go vegan so I went vegan uh, October 31st, end of last year, 2019. And um, it's something that I, I'd been planning to do for quite a while, actually. But um, I'd always not gone ahead and done it because I was really nervous about slipping up. Um, vegans have a very interesting reputation online. I don't know if you guys have realised. Um, interesting in the sense that they're viewed as quite militant or quite defensive or, I'm, I'm very sorry, quite preachy. And um, mistakes are not forgiven very easily. So if someone happens to eat something or like slip up, you know, by eating something that has honey in it or whatever, you know, vegans really have this reputation of coming down on that person. Um, so I, for a long time, thought about that and thought that I didn't want to be vegan or I didn't think that I could be vegan because I didn't think that I could keep up with these very, very um, stringent, or the very, these very, very high standards of what veganism is. And then one day I was talking to a friend, and um, this friend actually said that he'd gone vegan, but he had fish in his fridge, in his freezer. And this person, when you know they were talking, they sounded very, very okay with that. And that's, that surprised me, that struck me. Um, and it kind of made me think back to something that Rinpoche had told me many, many years ago um, when, you know, Rinpoche was first starting to encourage everyone to become vegetarian. And it was on one of these um, outings with Rinpoche. It was just me, Rinpoche, and Rinpoche's attendant in the car. And uh, we were coming back from some stuff in, uh, actually it was in Viva Home, Viva Mall. And Rinpoche, out of the blue, just said, you know, Gina, it's okay if you eat meat sometimes. And I, I thought that was really weird because number one, we weren't even talking about that. And number two, Rinpoche had been encouraging everyone to be vegetarian. And suddenly Rinpoche had just said, you know, Gina, it's okay if you want to eat meat once in a while. And I e instinctively just replied saying, no, Rinpoche, I don't want to do that. And then Rinpoche said, no, no, it's really okay if you want to um, eat meat once in a while, if you cheat once in a while. And I was like, but Rinpoche, I really don't want to do that. And then Rinpoche said again, Look, Gina, all I'm telling you is that if once in a while you make a mistake or you cheat or you slip up and you accidentally eat meat, it's fine. Don't worry about it. And all this time, all these years, I'd always thought that 
Ramachi was um <laughs> reverse psychologizing me, reverse psyching me into becoming vegetarian. But after I spoke to this friend, and this friend said that he was going, he had gone vegan, but he still had fish in his freezer. And this person was completely okay with it. I actually, re- and it made me have a different perspective of of what Rumichi had actually told me all those years ago. Um, the perspective that if I mess up once in a while, it's okay, and if I slip up, it's all right. And not to be so hard on myself about it, and not to beat myself up about it, and spend so much time analyzing where I went wrong, what mistakes I made, what I could have done better, and just really, you know, punish myself for it. To learn to be okay with um, making mistakes, with slipping up. And so after, you know, this friend of mine and I had this, we had this conversation, I took a look at what I had have in my fridge. And I realized that, you know, apart from the fact that I had many, many different types of cheeses in my fridge, because I really liked cheese, or I liked cheese, um, there wasn't actually anything in my fridge that was stopping me from becoming vegan. Pretty much everything I had, um, apart from the cheese and apart from a couple of other products, were already vegan. They were already, they were definitely vegetarian. And, you know, like 99% of what I had was already vegan, so... I thought about it and I realized actually there's nothing stopping me from um, giving up animal derived products and um, excluding it from my diet here on out Um, and that if I do slip up once in a while it's okay you know um, everybody makes mistakes so um, I wish I could tell you guys that I became vegan because um, it was for health reasons or because it was you know, it's good for the environment, which it is. It's also good for your health. I wish I could tell you that it was a question of ethics, that um, it's more compassionate to have um, a diet that's free from animal-based products. I wish I could tell you that it was a practice in compassion or um, that it's, you know, we eat three times a day, we have to eat, so why not make a kind of choice? I wish I could tell you it was that. I wish I could tell you that it was a spiritually-based reason. You know, Rumshi told us before, which, I mean... Obviously, it's very logical and obviously makes sense. But in the case of, you know, why did I become vegan doesn't directly apply. But what Rumshir told us before was we <clears throat> we spend every day reciting mantras. You know, we try and cultivate kind speech. We try and cultivate loving words coming out of our mouth. But at the same time, we're making a choice to put death and to put fear and to put somebody else's suffering and to consume that. And it doesn't match that the same vessel, our mouth, which we try to cultivate loving compassion with, loving kindness with, we then consume somebody else's fear and suffering and pain and, you know, um, terror. You know, we don't, we, it doesn't match having that, the vessel, having these two energies pass through it. So I wish I could tell you that that was the reason why I decided to become vegan, but in actuality, it wasn't. Um, I'd already been vegan many years ago for about nine months and uh, I had stopped and I'd always thought about going back to it. Um, But I guess my own mind and my own insecurities and my own fears and doubts and everything um, was what was really the stumbling block for me um, in doing that. And so um, the too long didn't read answer for why I decided to become vegan is I just felt like it. I was going to do it anyway and all it took was a conversation with a friend to make me see things in a different way and to help me to get over this... um, insecurity and doubt and fear that I had in me and uh, that really is the reason why I became vegan all of the reasons I gave you guys just now about kindness about animal welfare um, about you know environmental concerns and all that it's all valid you know and I'm sure that there are people out there who become vegan for that reason but those were not my reasons they were not personally they were not my reasons anyway um, that is the answer to one of the questions that you guys have asked I have a list of other questions to answer which i will get to in the following days um i just wanted to tell you guys thank you so much for continuing to watch all of the um, content that is being produced on the various facebook pages i'm not going to list them out because i'm sure you guys know by now but um if you see anything you like and if there are any questions that you want answered please do drop us a message please do leave us a comment on any of the videos and um we will be very happy to answer them for you we'll be more than happy to answer them for you Um, 
again, thank you very much guys. Please like, share, subscribe to any and all of the videos that are coming out. And um, I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Episode? Is that what you call it? Whatever. Good night. Bye.